Let's just say, uh, they made the, they lost it. the machine. Let's say something real fast. I'm oh, sorry. So, Cousin Jim has been accusing me for three years for stealing this credit card that I did not steal just because when I went there, somebody had used it in Missouri. Okay. okay. So, Jared was falsely accused of stealing a credit card even though he wasn't there and I was with him the whole time. It's not open. Stupid. I told you at five to close. <laughs> Where's Tia? Uh, tell the story. That is the uh, story. That's all I know. I wasn't. You kept it. Oh my. God. Go. Okay. The truth about crackhead cousin Jim's credit card. So Jared was falsely accused of stealing. Don't get it. Of course not. But if it's my life or theirs, and they're the ones trying to kill mine. <laughs> if they're attacking me, I choose me over them. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you've got to pick a pocket or two more. What are the songs were we singing yesterday? The one. Uh, oh, what have been singing like, oh, we, oh, no, no, you're the like. Wizard of Oz. Oh, you got some money there, money. It was like, like um, the Wizard of Oz. Oh, look, this knife has a. A light, and this is a, called a glass breaker. Like you could break the glass, and like some people, like I was saying, you know, they drown in their cars. Like if it starts flooding or whatever, they'll drown in their cars, and like they're not strong enough because the pressure from the water makes it harder um, to break the glass. But um, you can just push. what? So what do you think Houston is lacking? Like, what type of restaurant, what type of thing can we bring? They have most things. These, I mean, they they have don't a lot. have most things. They have a lot. No, they don't have most things. I well, can tell are, you at least. What are we missing? 30 what things. Are they missing? At, no, at least 100 things that Houston doesn't have that other cities have. What? Are you kidding me? What? I said I'm going to be recording. You said that Houston lacks nothing. So I didn't say they lack nothing. I said that we have a lot. Yeah, but if it, if it lacked nothing, that means it would be the best city in the world. No, no, I said we have but a lot. It's, it's from, one of the best cities, actually, in the United States. It's one of the biggest cities. You know what we're lacking? We have a beach. Well, Galveston is a beach. No, something close that by. we can bring, a man-made thing we can bring to the table. A man-made thing? So. We have rocket ships. Y'all don't really have, like, an amusement park. Okay, whatever. You don't need I mean... Okay, we have a zoo. That's all you need is a zoo. Are you the so Browns are around the zoo. zoo. That's all I need. You can live in there with the pigs. With the pigs. You can live there. You can live there with the birds and the bees and the shit. You can live there with the pigs. And the shahuts. We don't have pigs. We have you never heard of the shahutsis? And the putsis? No, no, the putsis. You can the live shahutsis. with the warthogs in the zoo. Browns doesn't have pigs. Brownsville has these birds that they don't have like anywhere else or like what are the, the chachalacas? I thought I saw chachalaca here and I think they're in Texas actually. Oh, right? I'm sure they're in some parts of Mexico. No, but they're very rare and I've seen them. I got them on camera. I captured them on film. When are we going to go see our great 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 aunt in Louisiana? January, right? Yeah. I can't wait. Okay, so I see a cupcake place, Chipotle, a medical spa. I want to go to a medical spa, dude. Have you been to a spa before? What is, no, I have not. It's like another experience. You go in there, if you want, okay, you like to tell yourself that you're VIP and all this. But you go in there, and it's like, dude, it's so magical. So as soon as you go in, the atmosphere is so calming. They play music that's like meditation music to calm you. They have like a little, most of them will have like a little waterfall or something to like, the, the lights are dim and then you go in and they're like, hi, I'm, are you ready for your appointment? So, so I had a migraine, it would help me a lot. Yeah, dude, so you go in there and they're like, oh, you could take off whatever you feel comfortable taking off. So if you just want to take off your shirt and then you're, leave your pants, okay. And then you can say, do you want a female massaging you or a male? Okay, female, well, male, whatever. And then once they come in, they'll give you an exaltation and they'll start asking you questions like, 
okay, uh, do you have problems with this? What is going on? Why are you here today? And you're just like, oh, I just want to get a massage to feel good, or I want a massage to, to take away my pain. I have a migraine. I, I, need, I want to get rid of it. Or I'm really tense. I'm really joint tense. pain. I'm tense. Whatever. So they'll say, okay, so um, this is the type of massage we're going to do. It's a Swedish massage, or it's a netting, or whatever they do, they're going to do. And then you could do, like, there's different types of things. The one I did was the Swedish, I think. And then it's... We're in, we're in Brownsville? No, I, went, I drove to McAllen. Right? Oh, okay. And then it was like 60 bucks an hour, but I got it on sale because it's usually more than that. Mm. And then there's some where they could put the hot rocks on you. There's some that they can align your chakras. I bet you anything... Houston has a, a Reiki master. Reiki master. Reiki Martin? You know what a Reiki master is? A Reiki master? Reiki master. Sounds weird, no. They work with your chi energy. I need I need help with my they, So what they do is they'll align your chakras, they'll look into your aura, they'll help. They work with an energy of, of Reiki, right? And they use this type of energy to heal your body of its, of its whatever elements that you're going through. Never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nidra, I'll keep talking. Anyway, so what I was saying, so the Ricky Martin, Lawrence Green, Tom Green, when you go to the Google Play Store and this GameStop, buy the game, uh, you go to, you know, National Park, they have baby puppies over there, um, <coughs> they're only like a dollar fifty, but they're really nasty, ugly mutts. <laughs> If you want the good puppies, the ones they're high bred, fully bred, they have these places. I mean, like you can go to PetSmart. You can go and get a nice little dog for like seventy-five bucks. A nice little dog, but they're not full bred dogs. You got to go somewhere else to get full. I know where you get full bred dogs from. There's a place here in Houston, and then down in uh, not in downtown, but there was actually one out down. Uh, <laughs> You like see a place not far from my house, and you can get dogs there. And you have them trying to talk to you seriously, fuck you, fuck you, and you don't. I was just putting it on. Okay. I don't care either. I'm not no JW. You are. I care less. You're the one who's smoking crack behind the scenes. You want to tell them about doing the weed? <laughs> smoking crack right and doing drugs. Okay, first of all, I want to say that I've never done drugs in my life. Cheating on your wife with men. Se second of all, I've never stolen anything in my life. <laughs> I've never stolen anything in my life. I have never taken gyms. A lot of people do. Okay, I'll okay, time out, time out. You that on YouTube. They're still texting me right now. They're saying that I took Jim's credit card when I went to his house. But random people were putting that. I know, like who told him? I think Jim told Cousin Jim Crackhead cousin Jim told and crackhead Robert, best crackhead friends in Brownsville, with nothing to do but smoke crack. They told a bunch of people on YouTube that I took Jim's card when I went to his house to sing. Okay, this is what happened, guys. The truth will set your body free from your soul. Okay, so listen, I went to Jim's hey, house, right? Pee, do you think I'm, let's go in the Dude, it's past five. They're closed. In, let's, well, Tia's still in there. They're not going to open the door. Go check. Come with me. They're not gonna open it. I didn't finish telling my story though. I know, I wanna hear it too. You were there, what do you mean you wanna hear it too? You were with me the whole time. Okay, so I was at Jim's house. And. Jim? Oh, that's all Okay. But you better not put this, make a new one. Let me make a new one. Oh, is it a separate video? Yeah. We'll save you. And like, the, yeah, the truth about the. It's cupcake blood. Cupcake blood. On the knife, I'm just kidding. Oh, show you on the video. We just went to Craves. Um, it's this little cupcake shop in Houston. And this it's right over there. <laughs> this one is vegan, so it's my first time trying it. It's really good. He's supposed to save half of that for his wife because she's vegan. 
vegetarian. I'm vegetarian, but I'll still eat milk and stuff. <gasps> Why do you do that? Huh? You don't think Tia would have enjoyed that? No. <laughs> This is too much, um, too much, um, frosting. frosting. I know. They all have that. Oh, no. How come you said that when you taste it, though, it's spectacular? Because it is. It's just too much frosting. Oh, I'm sorry.